Today on BladeHQ.com, we are taking a look at the CRKT Crawford Casper budget folder from CRKT. We're going to be comparing it to the SOG Trident as well as the, I, I just pulled this out for fun guys, but uh, this $1,800 custom Crawford Casper because we can, because it's here, we're going to compare it. And uh, I mean, this is, this is wild. We'll, we'll show you that at the end. If you uh, watch the end of the video, you'll get a Get to take a look at that particular custom. Anyway, so designed by Crawford Casper. We're going to go over the specs on it and show you the limitations as well as the really good things about this knife. First of all, the overall length on this is nine and a quarter inches. The blade length is three and three quarter inches made from Aus 6M steel. It's hardened to 55 to 57 Rockwell hardness, so it should be fairly easy to resharpen. It's got an ambidextrous thumb stud on it there, partially serrated version on this one with the uh, satin blade. It's got my grubby fingerprints all over it, but uh, liner lock on it. I like the jimping there in the liner lock because it's fairly aggressive. It's easy to get my thumb on there and it's also raised a little bit. You can see that there. So it's gonna just open and close one handed very easily. And I like that uh, thumb stud on there. Just get your thumb on there, give it a nice flick. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. Behind the camera, it's a little bit harder. We've got lights and crap back here. Anyway, it's got uh, CRKT's auto lock system on it right there on the back. So push that up and it's gonna become a virtual fixed blade is how they market that. But uh, let me tell you this, side to side blade play, there's a little bit. Front to back, there's just a little bit without that lock system on, throw it on. Just absolutely rock solid front to back, side to side still a little bit. It's got Zytel handles on it. The weight on this knife is seven ounces, so it is fairly heavy, it is fairly beefy. Let me show you it in the hand right there. Check it out. It's, I mean, I've got room to spare, you can see down there. So if you've got big hands, this is a great knife for you. It's got jimping there on the back. The uh, pocket clip on it is removable. Tip down carry only. Removable, not reversible on that pocket clip. And here is a shot of it in my pocket, so you kind of get an idea of how it looks. Slightly deep carry, not completely deep carry, but it's got a lanyard hole there. And uh, I think that's, those are the big high points. Let me show you this knife with a glove on. We'll check the grind angle and uh, we'll show you the handle thickness. So with a glove on this knife, a lot of real estate. I still feel like it's plenty big with that glove on and it feels fine. Let me show you this uh, blade grind, get right into that. right around 17 and a half degrees. And obviously this isn't an, isn't an exact science, but uh, I'd like to show you that anyway. Let's look at the handle thickness on this one. Got my calipers out. Over half an inch, five, uh, 0.57 inches. And then the blade thickness is sitting right around what? Let me check that. 0.15 on the spine and on the other side, right near the blade grind 0 0.079 so it's mostly FYI let me show you in comparison to a tactical clothespin big folder man 20 bucks now this is made in China the blade centering let me show you that not perfectly spot on it veers off to the left just a little bit but for 20 bucks man I mean it's not the world's greatest steel by any means but for what you pay and what you get not a bad gig at all I want to show it, show you uh, this knife in comparison to a SOG Trident here. This is a, how much is this one? $60 knife. This one is spring assisted, so it's going to snap right open. It's got the, their lock technology on it, basically their, their style of kind of an axis lock. And let me show you them side to side here, side by side. Both of them have that ambidextrous thumb stud. The Trident is sitting, the uh, blade length is three and three quarter inches, exact same blade length on these two knives. I do like this Trident for that uh, seat belt cutter because that blade turns into a seat belt cutter there. I think that's a cool innovation. I think they, they hit a home run there. Deep carry pocket clip on the Trident. Uh, the 
blade steel is OS 8 on the Trident, OS uh, 6M on the CRKT, but uh, Rockwell hardness on the uh, Trident as well is 57 to 58. So you kind of get an idea, just different blades that are out there. Um, I was also going to compare this one to a, an Endura. Let me just pull that out real quick. I forgot to pull it out beforehand. Sometimes I forget. I end up with thousands of knives around here. And uh, I tend to forget things sometimes, but here's a, an Endura shot for you. And if I remember right, the specs on them are similar as far as blade length. That's kind of why I pulled them out. So you got your tactical Endura up with the Casper. By the way, the Casper also comes in a black serrated version. So you can kind of see the comparison there. About the same amount of real estate in the hand on both of these. Choke right up to the, the edge of the blade. You can kind of see the Endura is much, much lighter. I don't have the exact number right in front of me at this moment, but uh, just feeling them, those FRN handles are going to keep the weight super light. Um, just a lot less weight on you with this Endura. By the way, it's going to be a little bit more, well, three times as expensive. It's a 60, $60 $70 knife versus a $20 knife made in uh, Seki City, Japan versus China. So just kind of showing you the different options. Now we've hit all of the basic high points on this. Let's, let's just have a little fun. Let's compare the, the $20 knife to the $1,800 knife. Let's not even compare it. Let's just look at this, this uh, Crawford Casper. This, this one is called a toothache. It's a flipper. And uh, you guys like to see it without my wrist flick in there. And I can't get it without the wrist flick. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. Look at this beautiful knife. I believe that is, um, if I'm not mistaken, that is tusk from a mammoth tusk. Yep, mammoth tooth set on red liners. Check that out. Just a gorgeous little knife. It's got these bejeweled backspacers in there. Filing. Fit and finish on this is incredible. Damascus. Just gorgeous. It's kind of fun to see the custom version and then the production version. I mean, you can see them next to each other. There's really, I mean, it's, it's basically the same design, basically the same blade shape. Man, check out this uh, thumb stud on this one. Bejeweled thumb stud as well. <laughs> Love it. I mean, blade shape is similar, handle shape is similar, but uh, man, if you can own a custom knife, this is a cool one. It's got jimping there. Check out that pocket clip on it. Anyway, this is for my own jollies, for your jollies as well, because uh, this knife will never be in my pocket or my safe. I don't even have an, I don't own a safe. So anyway, $20 knife versus an $1,800 knife. $1,800 and uh, what is it? $1,850. So give you an idea of these different blades. So. If this CRKT Crawford Casper, the $20 version, is what you're looking for today on BladeHQ.com, I encourage you to buy it. Buy it now on BladeHQ.com. It is the place to buy all fine cutlery and other exciting things. We're purveyors of all sorts of tactical exciting things. So buy your stuff at BladeHQ.com.